Today we're going to learn about cascading style sheets and the way we're going to set it up here a cascading style sheet, a CSS page is going to be a separate file that's going to contain lots of information about the formatting of, of the HTML page and so we begin with a simple HTML page but we add something called a link up in the head rel equals style sheet href equals style.css. That's the name of the file that we're going to have. And notice there's no dot dot slash or any folder name. So that means where it is is in the current folder, the same folder that we're in, type equals text slash CSS. So that tells it to look for style.css and, and from that it's going to format this page accordingly. So we begin with style.css simple text file that's all it is it happens to have a CSS extension technically speaking it doesn't have to but but that's the naming convention and I'm gonna begin with a class called default now I know it's a class because I can see the uh, dot in front of the word default and there's a difference between a class and an ID in a class we're gonna typically reuse this item time and time again um, so we'll, we'll talk about that. that it, it, most of the web pages are going to have a class equal to default. And so what I'm going to put there as an example is a background color. And I specified in hexadecimal, uh, pound sign FFFFCC. The first two FFs, of course, is the red. And the next two is green. And the CC is blue. So that's going to give me kind of a yellowish color. I'm going to add some fonts, and I, I just Googled uh, some some fonts, and you can see Georgia, uh, Times New Roman, Ariel, uh, Comic Sans, MS. Maybe we'll get to that at some point. Let's see. Anyway, so I'm going to begin with the font family Ariel, be Helvetica, comma Sans Serif. Uh, if you don't know what a serif is, uh, you can look that up. Sans means without. It's a little curly cue at the end of a letter, but in any event, so that's going to be my font family. And I'm going to set up a font size of 14 pixels. So that says that when I begin, I'm going to have a body class equals default. And anything that's in that body is going to have that background color. It's going to have that um, font family. And it's going to have that font size. Now, I've added a couple of things. Uh, like an H1 header website development and H2 is where you put you know your name right here. Then we create a division. A division of course is a section of the web page that's all kind of grouped together. And in this case I'm going to say ID equals info. Now that typically is going to mean since I'm calling it an ID rather than a class, that it's probably only referred to once. It's not it's not necessarily reusable code, but it's code specific to that division. So in my style sheet, info begins with a pound sign, not a period. And again, I have curly braces on each side. And we see a font family. In this case, I chose Georgia. And I decided on a 10 pixel font size. It's a little bit small, but we'll see. Actually, I've changed that uh, info to be courier new, um, but uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put in something like a list of items and uh, I'll put in an unordered list, UL, and I've got uh, in my list items, I've got some hyperlinks. That's all I'm going to put in here. A few uh, hyperlinks to some various pages, and it's not important what I've got there, but I've got a, in my division, I have a few words, and then I have an unordered list. And you can see that font size is 10. It's very small compared to the, the other headers. And I'm going to go back in there and add another uh, font. I'm going to call this one Senior Citizens, because we know senior citizens have a hard time seeing things. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to have an Arial, um, again, Helvetica. Um, but that font family is going to have a font size of 24. So Senior Citizens are going to be much bigger. And while I'm at it, since info is so hard to read, I'm going to switch that font size to 18, and I'm going to switch it back to Georgia, just so we have some, some variation here. Now, what I'm going to do here is in that code, I have a class called default. Everything's going to be like default except when a local overrides it. A local being the, the division, ID equals info. That says, okay, this part isn't going to be default. It's going to be whatever info means. 
And then inside of that, I have that UL, that unordered list. I've said class equals senior citizens. So class typically means it's a reusable code. We may see it elsewhere in this document. But that says senior citizens is going to override that. So for that UL, that unordered list, use the senior citizens style. Don't use info. But for the rest of the division, use info. You notice that's just line uh, 10, which is a list of items. That's the only part that will actually show up under the uh, info style. And only the, the first two headers are going to show up under the class equals default. Now, I'm going to add another division. But before I do that, I'm going to take a look at uh, what I've got here. And you can see that, uh, remember, senior citizens, that's the big font. We can see how big those those are compared to some of the other, like the uh, items. Now let's go back and add another division called uh, projects. And projects, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it an ID so that uh, this is typically not reusable code, or it could be, but it, 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 it's meant to be an area. So font family, comic sans MS, cursive sans serif. That's just got that off that website. Uh, font size equals 14 in this case. <coughs> And I'm going to add a couple of uh, anchors, a couple of hyperlinks, uh, one to Europe and one to JavaScript projects. And um, that's what's going to be in that division. And when you look at that, you can see that font size or that font style is a little bit different. That's the Comic Sans Serif or Comic Sans MS, sorry. And um, let me add one more paragraph. This one I'm going to say class equals fine print. Now, I haven't got a fine print yet, so let's make one. It's going to be courier new, I'll say, for a font family, but a font size of only 7 pixels. Okay. And <clears throat> from that, I can then add another class called Senior Citizens. It's a paragraph. Sorry, paragraph classical Senior Citizens. So I'm reusing the Senior Citizens code, and I just say, any questions? And when you take a look at that, what you see is, a lot of changes on this page. It's not, this is just a practice for CSS, but you'll notice the fine print is so fine it's kind of hard to read. Any questions is in big because that's a senior citizen, as are the, the unordered list. So there's a little bit of variety here and there of, of that. And that's how that's going to work with this uh, cascaded style sheet based on what you've specified.